what's up y'all so today i'm going to be answering some questions no i'm totally kidding y'all didn't come here to see me so anyways y'all see what y'all got him so can you guess who i'll be interviewing today and some questions that were asked by y'all so we're really excited let's just get started so um without any further ado me and my friend or whatever what <laughs> What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? How are y'all? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good, man? Cause I'm feeling great. No, I'm 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 excited. I'm super excited to start asking you guys these questions, and you're Let's you're gonna be to asking it. me. I'm right? gonna be asking these questions, so you are, it's gonna be raw. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I went over these questions, and they're ten out of ten, a hundred percent. I'm honestly like I'm stoked to hear you answer these questions. I feel like I already know like what some of your answers might be. So surprising. I know. Yeah. I, I was like asking earlier. I was like, bro, show me the question. She's like, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him on these. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. <laughs> like he has no option to not answer. So let's get right now. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I'm ready. I, you look nervous. <laughs> All right, just do it. Just do it. Let's get just it. Let's it. get it. Okay. First. Let, let's let's start it off with something easy, okay? Okay. So let's go. Hmm. What inspired you to do YouTube? What inspired me to do YouTube? Um, I definitely talked about this like previously, like a while back ago. But I would say like what inspired me was uh my I, I started I, I told you this before I started the channel with my younger cousin Emmerich. Uh, like this was like six years ago and we uh we started off as like us us going like live streaming on facebook and like we'd get like 20 viewers and we'd be like yo bro like, this is cool like what if we make a youtube channel so fast forward made the youtube channel we like literally had like a consistent schedule like if we had anyone watching us we literally get like 60 views per video but like we'd still do it because it was fun and um i guess like that's like one like the excitement was like building up in me because like I was like, yo, like, this is actually cool. Like, I want to keep doing this. And then, like, I feel like sometimes I'd have to force him to film with me. <laughs> but um, that's why I, like, went on, did my own thing, started my own channel, started my own, like, musically account. And then, thank God, I am where I am right now. So. Now look at him. Big flex. <laughs> Support your friends. Yeah, no, but at the end of the day, it's all because of you guys. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Question two. Do you ever stalk your fan pages? Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna sit here and like try to like <laughs> tell you no. Especially like at nighttime when I'm just chilling in bed. Like I literally always just scroll through my tags and like I like see like some cool ass edit and I'm like, hold on, I wanna see more. So I go on their page and I just like stalk all their edits. So yeah, I, I definitely do. I, I love I love I love I love those video edits that you guys make. I love them. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear. Uh that's, that's a good one. I have a couple. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm scared of a lot of stuff. No. Uh, one of one of my biggest is would definitely be like the ocean. Like the ocean just gives me like the heebie jeebies. Like that's just like, it's, it's not scary. knowing what's under there. It's huh? not. Like there could be you're the one that told me that only five percent of the ocean is discovered. So mm-hmm. like technically four. Like well, where's the other ninety-five percent? Like I want to know what's in the ocean. That's scary. Yeah. So so I, I that that like connects to like drowning. Drowning is one also one of my biggest fears. Like I just yeah. He can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> I could swim. I could swim. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, okay. What does your mom think about you being an influencer? What does my mom think about me being an influencer? Uh she at first she was like really like she didn't get it. She was like read it out by it. She she's like she's like, bro, like what is this? Like how like why are people like liking you? Like questioning it. I was like, mom, like I'm doing it. And I, I never really told anyone. I always kept it to myself. Um, but like over time, she like obviously like started like seeing like, for example, like someone come up and take a picture with me. So that's when she was like more and more understanding. And like, like as time went by, like now my mom's like one of like my biggest supporters. Like I love her so much. She's like always supporting everything I do. So she, definitely back then she was like confused. Like now she's like in the game. She knows it. She knows it. She with it. She, she's happy for me. I know. I love my mom. Okay, so I'm gonna make you think a little bit. So I'm gonna make you think a little bit. No, actually, first of all, where did the name Blessed come from? Oh my god. Everyone wanna know that. So <laughs> let's go. Um uh I'd say okay, yeah. So I Blessed, the name Blessed was actually usually you know how it's like Blessed is like my social media name. So before social media was even the thing for me, I used to like play video games like hardcore, like a lot. And um, long story short, my name was Blessed on Call of Duty on my PS3. And then that's when like Musical.ly came out. 
and you had to like have a username for like your account. And I, at the time, all I had was Facebook, and my name was what just. I think my name was like little young star or something like that embarrassing <laughs> but uh i was like i'm not gonna make my call of duty name little young stuff uh so uh i had to come up with a, a new name and i came up with blessed and blessed means bless four because iv is four in roman numerals so you put it together it's like a it's like a little mind game but it's definitely cool it has a little story behind it yeah I was not expecting that card. <laughs> Chill. Did you not know that? No, I feel like I low-key did, but, like, I didn't realize that, like, it was strictly video games. You yeah, know? no, it was. It was. That's, like, where Blessed came from. Okay, ready? No. If you weren't doing... <laughs> if you weren't doing social media, uh -huh. what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I mean, definitely I'd be, like, in college right now, if anything. Like, I've, I'm already done with high school, but when I was going to high school, I was, like, so committed on, like, going to college. I was like, yo, like, I, I took AVID. I don't know if you guys know what AVID is. It's, like, a college course class, and I took it for, like, literally five years because I, I wanted to go to uh, college to study computer science. So I'm assuming that's what I would be doing if I didn't do social media. No. Yeah. Following that question, what was your goal before becoming an influencer? uh yeah just going to college just making my you mom played soccer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But i played okay. soccer i played soccer for like six seven years of my life it was like second to like eighth grade um but yeah going to college that was like that's basically my main goal just going to college making my, my mom proud and everything my family proud yeah. let's see okay is it difficult to be an influencer if so why or why not um Definitely, I would not say it's easy, just because it does come with a lot. Um, uh, what's like, what, I mean, at the end of the day, the hate, like, at the end of the day, you just have to deal with it. Like, they don't really know the type of person you are. And the people that, like, really do support you and watch the content for the person you are, they know that they know your actual intentions and know how you are as a person. So I feel like, uh, definitely, I'll say, like, hate, like, just having to deal with it. But over time, I've definitely gotten better to like cope with it and just right, be like, bro, right. like, why care? Like these people don't even know who I am. Like <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there something that you don't like about social media? It could be that, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'd say like the hate, the negativity. Like, I just yeah. feel like it's just so unnecessary. Like, and it's, it's just, it's like a trend for people to like, like the cancel culture yeah like the cancel culture but i mean i don't have Big much time. to say like <laughs> i don't care <laughs> let's see okay so what is the biggest struggle from being away from your family uh i mean definitely like right now there's just so much going on back home and what sucks like the most for me is just like not being able to like just grow with my family like I have a little brother like kind of gets sad like not seeing him grow up like literally every time I go back he's like so much more bigger than I saw him the last time so just I say like just not being with my family just like not being able to like grow with them and like just you know I miss him but at the end of the day I know I'm like making them proud and at least I'm not disappointing them I hope <laughs> <laughs> Okay, are you ready? This is a banger question. Chill. I'm sure this is the one everybody wants to know. Chill. First of all. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> She's like lost track of it. <laughs> okay. Come on, Sam. Are you dating anyone or do you have a crush on anyone? Um, I'm not dating anyone, no. And do I have a crush on anyone? Um, I, I <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I don't got I don't got like a crush on anyone. I'm not. I'm not like head over heels over anyone. Like you know, I'm chilling. It's true. I'm chilling. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, mm -hmm. what's your biggest regret? My biggest regret. That's hard. That's hard. Cause like there's a lot in life that I like I've done. I've like, been like, damn, but like I'm a stub. But like. I mean, the way I view it as, it's like, I never, like, really regret anything. Because at the end of the day, you, like, learn from everything you do. So, I mean, I mean, that's just my mindset. I, I, I think I'm just looking at that. Like, no, I, don't, I don't really, I like, like regret anything. I just learn from my mistakes and better as a, better myself as a person. Okay, big guy. Hey, <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm calling it. All right, all right. What food have you never eaten but would really like to try? I don't 
that's hard. I feel like I've been in everything. I I mean, like what I would like what I think of. Um, probably like seafood. No, <laughs> I would don't want to try seafood. I like sushi though. I like sushi. California rolls, so <laughs> cow. I know she roasted me. She's like, you get the basic, the basic sushi roll. Like, um, but um, I mean, I guess I'd say like, like out of the country food, you know how like different countries have like their dishes and stuff. Like mm-hmm. I'd love to like travel and like try the, like different foods there, but I don't know what they have, but like I'm pretty sure like there's a lot of foods out there that I haven't tried. True. Okay. What's something that was cool when you were young, but like not anymore? uh something that was cool when i was young but not anymore uh probably like i don't know that's hard because like, i mean i tend to like love like nostalgic things like i like love like going back to like my old self and like finding old stuff like playing old video games like or playing like watching old tv shows um uh, i don't know what, what do you think that's a hard question like what's something that was like cool back then but isn't cool now that's hard. The immediate answer is that it come like out of my mouth. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, I was gonna say he hasn't grown up yet for things to not be cool anymore. <laughs> All right, then what do you not think is cool? <laughs> you think video games are still cool? Yes, I love are. video they games. Are. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. First of all, she's but just mad because I know what I think is, was kind of cool back then, but like not really anymore. What? Um, like reading. Uh, yeah but I, I still like okay, yeah, that, that's is, true. let me about let me let me go into it it's because like <laughs> reading's fun yeah. yeah but like back then i like we had such like a big imagination you know where like stuff really just seemed realistic yeah and then like now when i go back and i read that book i was like i really just thought i could fly like <laughs> that's so true I mean? that, that's like yeah like, like, movies, like movies and stuff yeah, yeah like it's like your imagination. Anything that was like, you know? Yeah, just, that's so true. It's like expanded when you're younger. Yeah, because I used to yes. love reading. Like, I loved reading. <laughs> I came up, I was like, reading. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no, I mean, I want to get myself to read more, though. No, like, definitely. definitely. We, need, we need some big boy books. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah. We have to Barnes and we Noble. Out, we out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If your name wasn't Alex, so mm-hmm. what would you want your name to be? So, <laughs> I mean, what name... Do- what if I told? What if I told you like I like Alex? I mean, Alex stands for Alexander, and I I like Alexander. But what about Xander, that that's awesome. Xander, yeah, Xander. My growing up, my aunts used to call me that Xander. Um, Xander's I feel like cool. That's edgy. That's the edgy one. Yeah, my Instagram is oh. be Xander G. <laughs> <laughs> Xander G. Oh, I'm so annoying. okay. Listen, how's your quarantine going? How's my quarantine going? Uh, it's going good. It's going good. Um, uh, literally been quarantining with my friends, like not doing anything um definitely like like quarantine just gives you a lot more time to just like reflect on like everything you're doing in life so i think it's cool to like have that time to yourself and just better yourself as a person right he's grown up yeah boy. we're growing up we big boys now i'm a big boy now i'm <laughs> <Flex>. kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay okay um okay what state would you move to uh-huh. if you didn't live in LA? What state would I move to if I didn't live in LA? Uh, I'd say like, I used to live in Miami. So uh, I'd say Miami. I, I love the vibe there. Like the beaches are crazy. And it has like the same vibe as LA with like the palm trees and stuff, you know? Yeah. So I'd say Miami. It's really nice. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh. Okay. Ever thought about quitting social media? <laughs> uh, so I've been doing social media for like, almost five years now like seriously and definitely there's been like times where I've been like yo like this is like two months like this is like it gets really like overwhelming and like exhausting at points but at the end of the day like it's so cool to see like what you've like built like through social media and I wouldn't like give that up for like anything like I'm so grateful to like have whatever I have and no not whatever I have to have what I have and um yeah i mean that's basically it like no i wouldn't like trade it for anything but there's been times like where it's like been rough and you know okay next question pretty obvious but do you love your fans i was just sipping (laughs) over y'all like five seconds ago yes yes i love you of course of course okay if you were to have kids how many do you want uh i say like two or three um i definitely want like a boy first and then I want to grow after. So then the girl has an older brother 
to look over her. You know? That's okay. okay. You strategize. And then that. and then who knows? Well we'll see. <laughs> a random pick on the third one. <laughs> Boy or girl. Yeah, let's see. Um okay. Do you like speaking Spanish or English better? Uh I like speaking English, but I, I love the fact that like I'm like like my I lo- I love my culture like I love the Spanish culture I love speaking Spanish I'm always speaking Spanglish especially when I'm back home and especially when I'm back home and if you guys don't know what Spanglish is it's like Spanish English into one because my mom she does speak English but she also grew up knowing Spanish so uh it's just like a mix of both I love I love both though the best of both worlds I love both you get the best <laughs> of both worlds okay do you have any secret talents any secret talents? Alex is singing. I could sing low key, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, I have like so I could do weird <laughs> stuff. I could flip like, my eyelid up, like inside out. Do it. That's so nasty. Though. No, I'll just do it. It's a movie. Are you sure? Let me see. You guys, that's nasty. <laughs> like, let me see. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> just do it. Like it looks like I'm like an alien. Yeah, like, my dad used to scare me with that when right. I was younger. Oh my god. But if you look at it first and tell me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like covering it like they could not see. <laughs> I literally seen it I in know. the video. <laughs> that's my, that's oh my, my yeah, I've been, I've always done that since like kindergarten. My mom would always get so mad at me. She's like, one day you're going to do that and it's not going to go back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's true. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Come on. If you could go back in time uh-huh. and change one thing, uh-huh. what would it be? If I could go back in time and change one thing. Uh, uh, that's hard. I mean, these are these are deep. Like this thing's like uh, like thinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, probably. Oh my god. So like when I was younger, um, I actually got like rushed to the ER because I didn't know. Okay, a little story time. I'll make it as fast as possible. I promise. My my grandpa he takes this thing called tums and they're for your stomach like when you like have like like bad like stomach acid or whatever and like it's supposed to help you, but like back then as a little kid I was what three years old I'd always see him eat it and I thought it was candy and I'd always ask for some and he like give me a little piece because you know like what's gonna happen, and so but then he didn't tell me it was like medicine so I thought it was candy so one time they were chilling outside in their balcony, and I went into the bathroom and I just like started like just <laughs> eating tums. Come, uh, 10 minutes later, my grandma just finally like passed out on the floor and like I have to get rest of the ER. So like back then time, I would not do that because I literally risked my life over stuff that I thought was freaking candy. Smart. You go back in time, don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. What advice would you give to someone going through a breakup? Um, Going through, a, okay, hold up. What advice would I give someone going through, going through a breakup? Just stay strong. Like, maintain a positive mindset like I know like it's like rough like trust me like I've been there but at the end of the day you're just that person you're that like <laughs> you're 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 the, you're the shit, bro like like you're you got this like stay strong like be on your own way yeah like you don't need no one if anything people need you and that's period and that's all <laughs> and, and, that's, and, all and that's all that <laughs> oh I'm so dead okay Mm-hmm. So, here. let's see. Okay. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, Wait, can I guess it? I feel like I know it. I, ca- I kind of like came up with like a new one like oh, two weeks recently? ago. But, like I've always thought she was hot, but like like I saw a music video and I was like, Becky G, bro. Becky. Boy, she is bad though. She's beautiful, bro. <laughs> she is very pretty. But you, you know who I thought you would probably say? Ooh. Zendaya. Yeah, I was gonna say Zendaya. Zendaya, like that's yeah. like her wife. Like she is just so beautiful. Like <laughs> yeah, she's an actress. She's a dancer. She's a singer. No, like you would let her break your heart for free, a hundred percent. For free, like <laughs> come ruin my life, please, Zendaya. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, who would you want to collab with in the future? Um, that's a hard question because like I rarely collab with anyone besides my friends. Think. Why something came to mind? No, you just like think. Like you've only collabed with four like oh, of like your homies, but like yeah. if you could collab with anybody like in the game right now. Anybody in the game right now. Uh well, I know you have some say it. What is it? What is it? 
that's hard. No, literally, it's hard because I don't really watch like a youth. I'd say like, uh, Fred, like David Dobrik and like the Vlog Squad, like that's He's so hard. cool. Like, imagine just being in a video. Just with being them. in a video, or like, like just, just, just doing just some like <laughs> exactly like please. No, it's no, like just imagine like just doing like something crazy with them in the video. Like that'd be so fun. Okay, so this is like my favorite question: How did you meet your friends? How did I meet my friends? Okay, what do you mean? So like, 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 what was the encounter where you had met? Like, when you first met? You know, when you first met Dad. We always talk about this. Like, yeah. when, you, when we first met, when you and Jay first yeah, met. Yeah, uh, like, that's weird. A lot of people want to know that. Like, you met Jay at like a shoot, right, or something? Yeah. So I met Jay Bez like at a brat photo shoot, and then from there stayed in contact. And I was like, Yo, bro, you want to be a part of my tour? And then went on tour. Became really cool with them. I met Devin and Carlos um at VidCon in 2017. Yeah. I met mm-hmm. I met Carlos and Devin at VidCon in 2017, and I met you at VidCon 2018. The year after. That's yeah. so weird. That's so weird. And, I now, and now we're that. all like a big group. Yeah. So yeah, I take VidCon and a photo shoot, like my main my main friend group. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, think about it. Okay, would you, hmm, if you had the option uh-huh. to either maintain what you have, or uh-huh. have you ever had a thought of like going back to being who you were before social media? So like. If you had the choice to like either be just like Alex, uh huh, or blessed, or blessed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like that's like Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus. Right. Um, no, um, I definitely like I've said previously, like I wouldn't trade like what I have like right now for anything. It definitely has changed my life for the better, and always be grateful for everything that's brought my way. So, right. no, no, no. I would stay as blessed. Yeah, I'd stay yeah. as Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> okay next are you planning any tours once covid ends but a personal tour a personal tour like a blessed type like, like how like you've done it before bread part two. yeah that's uh, what they want to know like, come on <laughs> uh so uh i am doing boys of summer uh the be- top of next year like literally january february that's when boys of summer is supposed to happen but uh they aren't doing like any like la stops so uh like you, like you obviously know this like a lot of my fan base is like in the west coast yeah. so um we are for sure like, gonna be like working on stuff like that and then yes we're still want to like make like, another tour like i still want to bring my friends on tour again because that was super fun it's just it's just a lot has to happen like behind the scenes behind the scenes the process the trust process. Please. trust the process please listen how do you feel that you literally impacted so many people dude it's like a, it's crazy like, hey, no it's a it. weird feeling <laughs> it's it kind of like puts pressure on me because like why are you guys like looking up to me like you know i'm scared no but i think the day it's super like a super dope feeling because like it's so crazy to think that like literally just by like being yourself in videos like people like like you like, like you. yeah like you like inspire them it's so weird right. like it's so it's so crazy it feels like so unreal and yeah it's just it's super cool super cool yep so what does a day in your life look like you wake up in the morning mm-hmm. just being blessed alex whatever on a good day yeah what do you do when you first wake up uh, what does your day look like? yeah um so for like the past month i've been trying to fix my sleeping schedule and i feel like i finally actually did because like every day i'm waking up like at 9 a.m like for no reason like if it's like normal because i usually wake up like at like 11 like 11 30 like you know because i'm 2 I, p.m <laughs> no 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 because no. like i love sleeping like i love sleeping sleep is like my thing but um recently i've been waking up earlier so definitely like when i wake up like i like, first thing i like try to do is eat obviously because you want to like I want you want to eat good like some eggs or something something quick and easy um then get ready for the day and probably post tiktoks like to get that out the way because that's like the easiest thing to do and then as like youtube videos come like coming to film youtube videos or like editing editing is like a lot of like what i do i do i just bro like this man (laughs) he be he be grinding on a good day like all night long to edit yeah i just sit there and i'm just like don't talk to me literally no but yeah i mean yeah just, it's kind of like yeah repetitive and i mean it depends like what happens you know like nice. sometimes i have different plans every day but nice. try to stay i try to stay as productive as i can it mm-hmm. makes you feel better so do you ever think like how different life would be without social media oh yeah like what it what if it just wasn't a thing yeah it's so much different <laughs> so much i probably would have had like a job by now 
like because before i started social media like i had what three jobs you'd probably be home like, yeah like, i'd be home like i probably wouldn't like been as close as i am with like so much it's so like i'm telling you on social media like changed my life and like just it's the butterfly effect it's crazy like, yeah from one thing and then it just on to the next yeah like, yeah yeah yeah. without yeah. one thing happening like a bunch of things couldn't yeah literally i think it's crazy just exactly what you just said <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth yeah that's exactly yes. so it'd be so it'd be so crazy bro just, I'm telling you, like so many other like the opportunities that like I've gotten like the past years, like I would have never even like thought like would cross like my way, but it's all happening because of social media. It all happened because of social media. And because of you guys. And because of you guys. Obviously, As you said, guys are obviously. You guys. Yeah, what? we already know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when's the new merch gonna be released? Come on. Eee! Stop playing. <laughs> I mean, so we did just drop I did just drop merch um not that long ago. It was the the new designs. Um, I don't know how to explain them. It's like a it's like a collage and it has like my palm tree, and it has like blessed. I dropped some sweats, God. some phone cases, and I know you guys really like the phone cases, and you guys are telling me to restock, restock, restock. So definitely taking that into consideration. I'm gonna restock. Um, but I don't know, not for a minute, because I feel like I wanna like work on like another really cool design and make it even better than the last. So take some time, but definitely taking your guys' uh considerations into restocking some of the old stuff, you know? So because I know gee, Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. soon, soon, soon. Where is your dream vacation? Like dream vacation. Um think about it. Really think about it. I mean, I was just gonna go with like, like something basic, Hawaii. No, only because I've never been. And I feel like everyone's <laughs> I been. Either. Yeah, we out. Yeah, no, we <laughs> out. I wouldn't go. No, like as basic as it sounds, like I literally want to go to Hawaii. Like my like my aunt's been there. Like I feel like you have to go there first. Yeah, like that's like the first like <laughs> like you want to start like traveling. Like that's the first place you have to go. Like Hawaii. Um, but other than Hawaii, like I want to like I want to like experience like culture. Like I want to like um i want to go to like brazil like i want to go to like paris like puerto rico like i want to go to like different places and experience like the you know how different like the yeah. places have like culture like the buildings are different like yeah, i want to like, go to, like the like uk the yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so, so yeah even like when we're on tour too mm -hmm. like just waking up and seeing different yeah stuff, yeah, yeah. So cool. like some places would be like deserted so but different. then and then some places would be like we pulled up, we and, like, pulled up to florida and yeah. we, might have, we walked down like the sky was just <laughs> we're, so beautiful we're, we're, we walked up the car we're like bro it smells like different here like <laughs> like the air it's pollution so... is a lot more clear no literally literally because you live in la oh no <laughs> <laughs> sadly but hey if someone gave you three wishes uh-huh what three would they be i uh I would have a uh, lifetime supply of um, chicken nuggets. I have a lifetime supply of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was gonna say Tesla. <laughs> the Tesla. Oh my god! Oh, I want a why? Tesla. I want the Tesla SUV. Oh my god! It's so fire! I want it! I want it! But I just got my Jeep, my baby Pearl. I can't abandon her like that. No, 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 no. Um, but I mean. I mean, crap, if someone's giving me three wishes and I could wish a Tesla right in front of me, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to Tesla. Nice. And uh, probably like, um, uh, that's hard. It is. That's super hard. A lifetime, no. A private jet. A private jet. And you can go anywhere you want. <laughs> what if I wish a lifetime supply of wishes? Boom. Oh, girl. It's like, it's like I got my, oh my God, Aladdin is the, the genie. It's like I got a genie on me. That's fast. <laughs> I said I got a genie on me. Okay, so listen, it's one thing to deal with hate, oh, yeah. but like, how did you come to like feeling content with knowing that there's just people that don't like you? Uh, you know? I mean, you literally just said it. It's just like, oh well, like there's people out there that are not gonna like the person you are, and like there's people that are love you. Yeah, that freaking love you. So like, not everyone's gonna always be on the same page. You know, like, hmm. who cares, bro? Like. They're hating because they ain't you. They ain't you. It's, it's basically They hate because they ain't. They hate us because they ain't us. Facts, right? <laughs> Words. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just say like, I mean, definitely like at first it was like rough, like, you know, because I wasn't like, used to it. I mean, low-key I was, but I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, just, I mean, just. But I got used to it. Yeah, <laughs> I got used to it, but like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. <laughs> People hate on me. People are going to love me. People are going to hate. 
the end of the day, you gotta like stick to your ground and just you know the type of person you are and just right. know that. And you focus on who loves yeah, you, and that's that. Exactly. Okay, and for the last question for you. This is the last question? Yes. Okay. What upcoming projects do you got in the works right now? Like, Yay. what's like? Do you have any like, whether it's like a YouTube video? I mean. You know, if you uh, start a podcast, because I heard that's the wave right now, you know? Chill, chill, like, chill. who knows? Uh, uh, um, yeah, definitely. Actually, so we just brought, brought up the podcast because I was just talking about that like, is- like a week ago. I feel like that'd be so cool. Like, just... I feel like with my friends, like we all like just always sit there and just like, talk, talk about, about like, real stuff. Yeah, subjects. like... And like, it should be so cool to like just... I feel like people like experience, like just kick it with us, you know, through the podcast. But other than that, um, I said that tour, merch... It's like, uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I, I have, I, there's a lot of like news that like, I already like have like inside of me, but I can't wait to like share it with you guys, but I'm just waiting for the right time. And yeah, all I'm going to say is just stay tuned. There's a lot of good stuff coming in the future. I'm super excited. Super excited. Yes. And yeah. you know, we out here. Bless yeah. the fam. Yeah, we does this. We does this. Bless we the fam. Best family. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir awesome but um that's that i mean i guess that's that you know like i asked you so many questions you just yeah we did it was a move though like i felt like i was like yeah we did it 